Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Chavez here. Uh, I'm going to be doing another trade-up contract uh, for either the Weasel or the Desert Eagle Directive. I uh, used uh, all the slipstreams because these are super cheap. Like I think these are like 18 cents a piece right now. And uh, then I used Chroma 3 stuff because these were all 18 cents for factory new. Everything in this trade up except for the directive is going to come out factory new. And then I also used ventilators because I tried to get super low float so everything would uh, come out factory new. Um, I didn't look at the directive. I'm assuming it only can have a certain, like it's probably like a .06 or less float. I'm assuming that's why it only turned out minimal wear because everything else is like a .0 float but this would come out a .11. Uh, so yeah. Uh, hopefully get the weasel or the directive. That's the goal. Um, really, really, really don't want another goddamn power core because that seems to be what I get. Um... If I get something out of the Chroma 3, I'm really hoping it is the Ghost Crusader. Because I would like another one of those, and this would be factory new. So, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Getting the weasel. Ah, oh, the Ghost Crusader. It failed, basically. Uh, yeah, this is a, was a fail no matter what. <clears throat> if I didn't get the Weasel or the Directive. And I was thinking 6 would be enough, but apparently not. Um, although, last time I did a trade-up, I don't know if I put it on YouTube or not. But I had 7 of the skins and it failed. So, um, at least I got one of the only ones I wanted out of Chroma 3. I think the only other one I would have been okay with is the Tech 9. Um, look at that real quick. Yeah, the only other one I would have been happy with is the Tech 9. I guess the Red Astor would have been fine, but, you know, that would have... I would have not been too thrilled with that either which way, but yeah. Alright, and we're going to move on to the bigger of the two trade-ups. Um, this one was a little bit more expensive, and, yeah, I think I'm just going to do every other one. Um, out of this one, again, we want the Desert Eagle Directive, or the Glock Weasel. If we get something out of the Falchion... Hopefully it's the evil uh, Damio. Uh, or the I think the P250 handgun. One of those two would... I think those are the ones that pay the most. So, yeah. This would be really nice to get the... Glock. Be really, really happy with the Glock. Um, they're actually pretty expensive still. I think I think the Glocks are going stat track like anywhere from ten to like forty dollars, and the Desert Eagles are going for I think anywhere from five to two hundred and fifty. But it's because uh, I'm pretty sure the Glo or the Desert Eagle Directive in Factory New and Stat Track is super rare right now not a lot of people have unboxed those or got them in trade-ups so I mean I think there's only ever been like four on the market <sighs> but we're not gonna be getting the factory new one but uh, Desert Eagle Directive or the Glock 18 is what we're hoping for also the Evil Damio would also be pretty good profit too Stat Trek and get Loudmouth fuck I already have one of these, and mine's better condition. <sighs> and I don't think these sell for anything. I think this is a huge loss. Yeah, uh... Let's go to quality. Um, I already have 
Yeah, what is mine? Oh, mine is field tested. Okay. Um, yeah, these are like 85 cents. So huge loss. Well, not huge. I mean, it wasn't that expensive, but pretty sizable loss. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, you guys are awesome, amazing. Make sure you hit like, comment, subscribe. Definitely make sure you subscribe. There's going to be another giveaway probably announced Tuesday. So yeah, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos, especially the giveaway. And that's the only requirement for the giveaway is to be subscribed. So yeah, take care. Peace out. Thank you.